PDF vector documents can be used as a great source for patterns in Photoshop, CS5, CS4, and other versions. Just going to go, or PC or Mac. Just going to go to the file, open, and I've got a selection of PDF documents here. You can use any PDF document. The vector design, so they can be used any size. So you can use 2000 by 2000 or 100 by 100 if you want a very small pattern. Now I'm just going to select a PDF document here. It's from graphicextras.com, a hearts design. Click open and it will come up with asking the size of the document. Now I'm not going to go for uh, such a size. I'm just going to go for a very reasonable size pattern, 500 by 500. Click OK. Now the design is open there and you can now you can just resize it if you wish. I'm just going to resize it just slightly so it's uh, within the bounds of the image. I can actually also add a background if I want to. I'm not actually going to add one here, but you could add sort of, or maybe combine other other designs into things as long as it actually is not over the boundary of the document. So now layer flatten image. So I've got the thing there and I'm just going to select the entire document, edit, define pattern, comes up with asking for a pattern name, click OK at that point, and now I'm just going to go to another document, just to quickly show you the pattern, so layer, new fill layer, pattern, OK, and there's the pattern there, so I can now resize that, so 50%, 25%. Of course, you can move the pattern design around. Now, you can create more complicated patterns if you want. You can actually say, like, create a design, different corners, use different commands, like the filter offset command. That's quite a useful one for creating patterns with different designs. So, I'll just quickly go and show you open another document. Well, actually, I'm just going to go to File New. And I'm going to fill with a colour. Colour. I'm just going to go for a pink colour. OK. And then place. I'm going to select another one of these heart designs. That one. Place. And again, you can use that as a layer. So you can actually move that around. So I'm just going to drag that out slightly. So I could actually, if I want, just duplicate that. So I'm just going to go duplicate layer. Okay, layer. So I can create a slightly more complicated pattern. Obviously, I can overlap them, recolor the designs, apply effects, whatever. I'm just going to flatten that. And I'm going to go select all. And I'm going to go to edit, define pattern, and add a new pattern. Go back to the other document, click on the pattern layer, just select that design there. And again, set the size, 50%, OK. So you've got a pattern design there, you can of course change that to your heart's content. You can move it, no, put 10%. So you've got a basic pattern there, seamless design. Of course, you can create ever more complicated heart designs as you wish.